Hey guys, welcome back to Saints Row. We're going to start taking on the West Side Rollers now, right after this cutscene. That's a sweet ride, Lynn. Uh-huh. Who tuned it for you? No one. I did it myself. The spoiler looks like Donnie's work. No way, that underglow screams Ricky Lou. Yeah, I guess it does. What is this, fucking third grade? What do you mean? Forget it, I'll see you tomorrow. Dude, she totally wants you. Assholes. I swear to God, we're not gonna be able to kill these bastards fast enough. Aside from macho bullshit, I haven't heard much. The only interesting news I got is that a shipment of high-performance cars is coming in today. It's not much, I know, so we're gonna make the best of it. Jack the truck carrying the cars before it makes its delivery and take it to Samson. He'll load up the cars with a few surprises, then finish the delivery. Now get out of here before someone sees us. All right, so that's our introduction to Lynn. She's our contact uh, for the West Side Rollers, this set of missions. She's kind of a tough girl with a chip on her shoulder and tough girl. Yeah, so I guess we don't know her that well, but she really hates the West Side Rollers, which makes you wonder why she's undercover. Oh, well. So first mission in the storyline is pretty simple. We just got to find a truck, steal it, and take it back to the row. Lots of the missions in this is are car related. West Side Rollers are all about cars. Blah blah blah. Trucks up on the highway. Uh, the weapon you gotta have when you're doing these West Side Roller motions is the submachine gun because it's the only kind of high damage, high output gun you can fire out your window. The rifles and shotguns don't work that way. So just shoot the cab a little bit, and the guy takes off. You can see him running out in the distance there. Now we take the truck, and I I really like this part of the mission. You are pretty much indestructible in this thing. Uh, they do not have the weapons or the manpower to take you out. So, and you can do fun stuff like that. You can pretty much just push around anybody else on the road, especially when you get going on these highways. It is all just straight lines and slow turns. Out of the way. This truck is going way too slow, so we help him along here. He's just not getting the point, is he? See ya! Uh, regular cars, when you hit with a big semi like this, pretty much will just explode instantly. And I really hope this video conveys to you how much fun I'm having doing this. I almost wish they would send more guys after you in this first mission, just because there isn't... I... I don't really see how you could lose this one. Just follow the GPS and... Everybody around you dies. Not a whole lot you can do to mess it up. It almost makes me wish there was an activity called vehicle delivery. Where you kind of do stuff like this. Although I guess you could always just steal one and drive it around on your own. Seeing as this is an open world sandbox game. I guess. Get out of the way, you. See why the rollers don't pull in front of me so I could blow them up like these guys. Yeah, there's a fair amount of these big tractor trailers around. You know, it is a little pain to see, but you don't really need to see where you're going when you're driving one of these things. Only nitpick is that you can't keep them in your garage. Yep, there's some cars in the game that just don't fit in your garage, and this is one of them. It's a shame, I know. Maybe they'll fix that in a sequel. So there's a roller crashing up against this, but I don't know what they think they're trying to do. I think they're just blowing themselves up against us. Alright, the ending point is right down at the end of this ramp. And that's this mission. Get out of the way. So, back to basics. Oh, we actually don't get a territory for this one. We get some little bit of money. And it's time for another mission. Let's just find where the GPS is. I think it might be... Whoops! Come to the nightclub. Samson's done working on those cars, and we gotta talk about what we're gonna do with them. So here at the nightclub, next to the next mission. Ooh, I think somebody dropped some money on the ground. Thank you. And let's go ahead and get started with this one. Try not to look so conspicuous. 
You did good. But I'm not through with you yet. Those cause you stole have been rigged to blow once the engine reaches a high enough temperature. I need you to make sure those cars get nice and hot. Now there's a race going down in Chinatown tonight, and I think you should give them some tough competition. I know these guys. If you're in the lead for the final stretch, they're gonna hit the NOS to blow past you. When they do, boom. As soon as those cars are wrecked, get the hell out of there. You're no good to us dead. Thanks for the dance. Now hurry up. You got a race to win. All right, let's get our car. Who's that? Oh, look, it's Troy. Hey, Troy. Hey, man, let's get to the race. Look, I don't care what Lynn says. You get me next to those cars, and I'll take care of the rollers. All right? The hell with this lap race bullshit. Well, okay, that seems like a departure from the plan that Lynn said, but if you insist, Troy, I mean, you have seen your. I don't like the idea Oop. of Lynn going undercover. You roll with people long enough, and pretty soon you start thinking like them. All right, here they are. I hope Lynn followed up on her end of the deal. He's Troy. Troy's such a worry wart. Worrying about killing cops, worrying about being undercover Three, for too long. Two, oh. Alright. So, we haven't really done any racing activities, but this is basically one of these. I feel like... I feel like this mission took some, uh... Last minute revisions. Uh, as in... Seeing as we're really not doing anything that was talked about in the cutscene. Troy has some pretty good burns, but I'm just going to talk over them, sorry. You, you know, instead of actually play. winning the race, we just have to stay close to the drivers, and then they'll blow themselves up. Uh, the first two guys we take out, it'll be hard to see, but you'll see the last guy, what's supposed to be happening pretty quick. And also, win, do you? we're not in Chinatown at all, either. So I feel like maybe they scheduled... Troy's lines after Lynn's lines. And, I'll let you wash my car on weekends, and so they realized the mission wasn't working, so they added Troy in. They get him to get all this stuff in. I think that might be how it happened. Alright, so two of the racers just blew up. Um, what happens is once the bar is full, they hit on the nitro to get past you, and that's what blows up the car. You didn't really get a sense of that at all with, with changing cars you're next to you and the bars and everything. And also, I'm just beating this guy now and the taunts isn't filling up at all. But you can see once he gets next to me, the top bar will fill all the way up. And then you can actually see him pump the nitrous too. So it's actually kind of some nice details. And off he goes. Nitrous. And explosion. And that's this mission. Might be a confusing mess, but as long as you stay, uh, keep up with the other rollers, you'll be fine. So don't worry about it too much. Hey, why don't we just keep doing some more, uh, some more missions? Sorry, my mic was weird. And again, we have another cutscene. Wonder what Lynn's up to this time. Uh, need a light? Thanks. Fucking asshole. I tell you, you and me are always making new friends. Things are moving too slow. We gotta step it up. I hear a guy named Joseph Price calls the shots. I don't know much about him except that he's friends with some mechanic named Donnie. If we get in good with Price's crew, we'll always be one step ahead of those fuckers. Here's the plan. Go and tear up Donnie's shop. Right when you're about to finish off Price's buddy, I'll rush in and save the day. Make it look good, but don't you dare mess up my car. If we're lucky, Donnie will arrange a meet with Price. Thanks for buying my tea. You know, if I didn't know better, I would say that Lynn has a crush on our little hero. I mean, it's, it's hard to deny his physical attractiveness and just the fact that he's such a stone cold badass helps too. Well, we I think we might need a couple homies for this mission. You know, I guess I guess it could work out once this mission's over. Maybe we could quit banging and I'm always down for you know, get a nice penthouse on the row and settle down start a family. Uh, I guess I'm just getting too ahead of myself here. First things first. Whoops. Why do people jump in the way? We gotta go over get Johnny's, uh, Donnie's shop which is right over here short breeze and we just got to kill a bunch of dudes and get to Donnie and a nice 
<laughs> well thrown Molotov takes out my homies. I'll pour out some 40s once I take these guys out. I've always had a weird time with this mission. It's not really, with this part of it, it's not really a tough part. I mean, it's just standard combat. I don't know. It's just something about the layout of the shop and the placement of the bad guys. It just really weirds me out. And also, people always park their car right here. And so, there go my homies again. But, you know what? The car's kind of blocking people from coming in behind me. So, I'm just going to keep going in. Ow. Who did that? Alright, I'm low on health. I'm really taking it. Ah! And my aim is awful during this mission. I don't know what it is. So, you can actually see Donnie in there. Shooting at us. Now, the thing is, you can't shoot him. But he can shoot at you, and he also has a couple bodyguards. So you kind of have to just... Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for my health. Then the guys behind me. You just got to take out these bodyguards without soaking an immense ton of damage like a certain Let's Player is right now. As long as you don't die before you kill them, you'll be fine. Another cutscene. Donnie, get down! What are you waiting for? Get in! We gotta get out of here! Uh, I think you scratched my hood. Look, I... Motherfucker. Who are you? I'm Lynn. And you're welcome. Oh, I've seen that wistful look of love before. Yeah, there's definitely something going on between those two. All right, chase Lynn to the suburbs. We got to keep up the trade. So only thing though that Lynn turns around here. I seem to forget that on every run I do of this mission. Uh, this part is pretty easy. Once you've done it once, you kind of know which ro route she takes. Although I, I am able to fuck it up in a bit here. Uh, the route she takes is much more complicated than needs to be. She's going to fall on the grass, going weaving in and out of the trees. But you can just stay on the road here, because she just goes straight ahead. Uh, don't go too fast, because you'll actually like outpace them. So, you know, just you know, keep it safe, nice on the sidewalk. You know, I start playing around a little bit. Doop de doo. Oh, hey, Lynn, how's it going? Whoa! But here's why I fuck up, because I think she goes this way, but she actually goes the opposite way. So I got to scramble, and this guy is stuck under my tires as usual. But uh, once you get onto this old uh, viaduct drainage thing, it's pretty easy to catch back up. You don't need to be next to the car, you just need to be in the red circle. So that was the only part where things kind of got out of hand. And Lynn is being very responsible and driving in the oncoming lane. So I'm just going to let her do that. And keep things nice and easy here in the correct way. Uh, I don't know where she was brought up, but... Over here in Stillwater, we drive on the right side of the road. Maybe if they gave us, you know, some kind of points of respect for driving on the oncoming lane, I would do it more. But, and then I, whoops. Sorry, my mind was wandering. So, we just gotta keep pace with them up to the suburbs. And, with, this mission is kinda silly because if you lose them too soon, you fail, but right around here, you get a little prompt that tells you, let them get away. Why couldn't we just let them get away to begin with? What? You know, keep up the illusion. Uh, then you just gotta wait for them to disappear, and the mission is over. Just like that. Like that. Perfect. Alright, we are on a roll here. Uh, I think it's time that we start introduced to... Oh wow, look at us. We look pretty good with the shotgun. Almost like an old man. Yeah. Get off my lawn! Donnie's setting up a meeting with the higher-ups of the Rollers. You should stop by and listen to what's being said. I'll text you the address. Alright, sounds good. So let's figure out where the home base of these guys is. Up here on the very north part of Stillwater. The swankiest part of the suburbs. So let's go check it out. Alright, here we are. It's a pretty nice house. Oh, the god damn it. Oh, god damn it, these goddamn pushbacks. Alright, we gotta take care of that before we go on. I guess we'll just end this video here right after this. Fuck you. Alright, see you next time, guys. Take care.